everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm going to be doing my June favorites. I feel like time has gone by so fast. Like I feel like it was just May that I was doing my May favorites. I was even like, oh my God, it's June favorites and I need to find what has been my favorite thing. Um, but definitely have lots of goodies that I've been trying out. Um, so this month, I've been well. I've always been obsessed with this, but I rediscovered it again this month. This is the Clarence Extra Firming Lip and Contour Balm, and it looks like this. And I love this balm. You can see right there. I've like made a hole in it, um, but I like this one. This is different from any other balm I've tried before. This one definitely like will erase the lines on your lips. You know how we naturally have like little lines on our lips? But I put this on at night and my lips are like smooth. Kind of like they've been like sanded, sanded down. Like there's no lines on them. They're completely smooth and they're plump and like very like soft. And I love that, especially when I wear matte lipsticks. I wear this prior and it's, it's everything. Um, the next thing that has been my favorite um, in the month of June has been this right here which is uh, the magic eraser I got it back in my birthday um, in April and I always thought like it's just a piece of cloth and I was curious about it but I was like mm, I'm just gonna stick to my Clarisonic and my cleansers and I'll be okay and usually I wipe off my face with a wipe um, before I use my Clarisonic or before I wash my face um, and I ran out of wipes and I had to pull out this bad boy um, and it's so soft and it's so amazing like all you do is wet it and one side which is wipe everything off like I even tested it on my mascara and then I just went under my eye above and it's completely taken off all of my mascara all, like everything like I don't usually wear waterproof but I like love wearing mascara and it has even helped to remove that so I'm a believer and this is the magic eraser and I like it um, I use it I wash it in between like I'll wash my face with it and then I'll wash it to take up all the makeup because I don't want any bacteria to sit on it but it's supposed to be antimicrobial so you can use it um, but you just stick it in the washer um, with some detergent and it washes out um, and I love it I love it so much like it's so much easier than like rebuying so many wipes so I love this um, the next thing is actually a hair product um, and this one is the Redken um, extreme anti snap one no, 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 no. let me see there we go so I really like this one at first I was like mmm I don't know. I don't know if I see a difference in my hair, um, but I noticed when I stopped using it. Um, I stopped using it I think maybe a week. Um, I don't know. I just I forgot about it. I stopped using it, but my hair would feel like brittle. Is that the word? Like uh, like I even when my hair was curly or straight, like I would feel like it would like get matted. Like it would just get matted. Like everything would get tangled. Um, and usually that does happen uh, when you have blonde hair. It kind of gets like this, um, this like weird texture um, that tends to tangle a lot uh, when it's blonder uh, than when I'm usually brunette. Um, but then I started using this again and then I was just like, oh, my hair is so soft. Um, and it definitely stops a lot of the splitting, uh, my split ends. And this one is the anti-snap, extreme anti-snap. It's an anti-breakage leave-in treatment for distressed hair and my hair is very, very distressed. Um, I have processed it a lot, um, but it definitely made a difference. Like I like it and I like how it smells. It smells like, like blueberry muffins. That's exactly what it smells like, like blueberry muffins. But it's great. I definitely saw the difference. Um, my hair feels softer and less fragile with it. Um, I don't think it has keratin from what I see here. Um, no. It has protein. Well, yeah, protein and ceramide. And ceramide helps soften the hair. Um, so I definitely love this. So I will not be stopping or discontinuing the use of it again. And I've honestly been so surprised. I, like, I love 
Redken products. Um, I had never tried them until a few months ago, but so far I like everything, and I'm looking forward to trying other stuff. So I have to, I have to get to it to try other stuff. I was reading up; they have an anti-breakage mask, and I want to try it. Like I definitely want to try it. Um, another thing that I've been obsessed with and I rediscovered is my beauty blender. Um, I haven't used it in forever. I think in a year. Um, but I bought a few new ones and I all my brushes were dirty and I was like, okay, I have to get back to the beauty blender. So I went and I used it and I didn't remember how great it makes my skin look. Like it looks very airbrushed and every foundation that goes on just looks very smooth. Um, so I've definitely been obsessed with that. Um, and I also have been only using this foundation lately. Um, and this is the Smash box studio skin and it's a 15 hour wear I've had a really bad skin month um, I have no idea why my skin has decided to rebel against me and I've been breaking out like almost even cystic like I've never in 25 years of life broken out that much um, but I have like a little scar I don't know if you can see I have a scar here and I have little like scars everywhere because I've been picking at it which I know isn't good because I've worked in the medical field before and I used to always tell my patients like don't pick, don't do this and that's exactly what I'm doing now um, so I need to remember that um, but I've had like extra redness and stuff um, so I've just needed extra coverage more than like a tinted moisturizer or like a BB can do for me um, so I've used this one right here and I like it because it still looks like skin it looks very natural and still dewy, but it gives me that full coverage and I've been pairing it with the Beauty Blender. On days that I've needed extra, extra coverage and I just don't want to see even skin on my face, um, I've been using the L'Oreal Infallible uh, Foundation and this is the Demi Matte one. It is full coverage. I love this. Like I had like really bad, I don't have it anymore, but there were like really bad breakouts, like they even hurt. And like you could see them and you could see all those bumps and I was just so self-conscious. I just wanted to wear my hair like this. Um, but I used this over it and whoop, like completely airbrushed it out. Like I couldn't even see it. So still obsessed with this. Um, and I love the Pro Matte. I love it because it's not very matte that I look like dry. Like it's just matte enough that I still look natural. And that's what I want. And I'm going to actually try the Pro Glow. I've been procrastinating on it, but I'll get around to it, but I want to try that one. Another thing that I've been obsessed with is glitter, obviously. I have been obsessed with glittery things lately. I don't know why. I think I'm on a glow kick, like I want everything that glitters, everything that glows. I need it. Uh, so this is new too. This is not my June favorite because I just got it a few days ago, but we'll see how it works in other videos um, but I definitely do love it it's like very shiny and I love it and I'm very into like backgrounds right now and I'm trying to get better at editing so we'll see how that goes um, but in the theme of glitter I'm actually wearing it's called sunlight and this is from Bobbi Brown and it's in a sparkle a sparkle eyeshadow so I have it here and I have it on my cheekbones and it's literally just glitter that I place on my cheekbones it's not even highlighter um, but I love this one, I tried it today and uh, I'm liking it so far, it's very like yellow gold but the, my favorite one is this one, it's called Cement, you can see it right there and it's like a taupey color and I really, and these you don't rub but you like press, so I'm going to try and press and show you what it looks like because it's so amazing. And I think you need this in your life um, because I just put this over any eyeshadow. You can see that. Oh my god, it's so pretty. But I will just do my eyes like smoky or anything and just press it like right in the middle, and then my eyes look very, very sparkly. Um, so I've been obsessed with this. So I like this one, but I like the yellow one as like a highlighter. Um, and another thing, I've been. Very extra tired because I'm getting close to finals in school. Um, I'm kind of regretting taking a summer class. I don't think that was for me. A little, a little stressed out. 
um, but I've had very much sleepless nights. Um, so I have been using extra concealer. Um, usually I kind of lightly touch on concealer. I don't have too much too much darkness. Um, but uh, like I said, same thing with my foundations. I've been like loading it up. Um, I rediscovered this in my collection because I'm trying to be good and not shop. Um, so it's getting a little bit out of hand. Um, so this one is the Tarte Maracuja Faceless Concealer and I'm in Fair. And it's this one right here. It's very creamy and very thick, um, but it still blends and holds on. Um, you definitely do have to set it, but I like that it like brightens the under eye. Um, let me put a little bit on my hand just so you can see it. Um, but a little bit goes a long way and that's what I like. So I have that little dot. And you see, and it goes a very long way, but it's kind of bright. Um, and I, I love this one. It's like very creamy and it like moisturizes under your eyes, um, so it's not very drying. And I love that about it. And I wore it last time, and then my friends were like, "Oh, are you wearing something different? You look like so bright and awake." And I was like, "Oh, yeah, I tried the new concealer, so that was always good." Um, and then another thing I rediscovered was my MAC Fix Plus. I love it, it smells so good. And I like it because I always want to look dewy and I always want to be shiny and want my skin to be glowy and like I just woke up. Um, so this has helped a lot, especially when I was breaking out because I was dry and I was breaking out, which I don't know, didn't make much sense. Um, so I don't know if I was like overdoing it on my skin, but I was so dry that my face felt tight and like anything I put on it like looked flaky and it just looked, it looked gross. Um, but the MAC Fix Plus, I would spray it under my foundation, put on my foundation and spray it over and it always made my skin look fresh and like plump. Um, and I love that about it. Um, and so I will continue to use this and I always use this on my brides because I want them to look dewy. Um, so I usually spray this one and then I use like a setting spray over it. Um, and they love it. Um, I actually did a wedding, well helped with a wedding a few weeks ago. And then everybody loved this, the Fix Plus. And that's, that's when I was like, mm, let me try it again. And I was obsessed with it. Um, so those were my main favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you found things that you haven't tried before. Um, I want to thank you so much for watching um, and I hope uh, my next videos you enjoy this beautiful glittery background. Um, so I look forward to reading all of your comments and please tag me on anything and if you don't follow me on social media, you should. Um, you should follow me on social media and tag me on things I love like inspirational quotes and I love seeing everyone's like pictures and their makeup, uh, you know, like I, I love that we get to learn from each other. So please tag me um, and all your pictures and stuff. I wanna see them. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your week and I look forward um, to the next video. Bye.